welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma, subscribe for hauls, and we vlog every weekend. There's a little munchkin in the background. Um, it is now half past nine, and what we did was we got very early this morning, tidied the house because we had somebody coming over to look at it for various bits and bobs. And now it transpires that every single pair of shoes my daughter owns. Even the wellies, even the slippers, no longer fit her. So I don't know what happened over Christmas, but she went back to school Christmas, you know, after Christmas and then came back and both of her feet were bleeding. So I felt like I really got out of one. So we're going to go, aren't we? We're going to go and buy some new shoes, some wellies, yeah. which is just what you want when you've got loads of money after Christmas. So that is what we're going to do today. I probably won't take the camera around because I want to spend a little bit of time with this one. Yeah. Yes. Because this is the first time we've been able to go out since I've been poorly and I can drive. Whoop, whoop, I can drive in my car. So, we're going to have a little bit of fun and then we'll see, we'll come and show you what we got when we get back. I envisage lots of tiny pairs of shoes and me maybe going to the boots for sale because you know I love me a sale, Babs. We're back, we're finished. We're not back, we're still here, but we're finished. Oh, oh, the light's changed. We may have spent a small fortune on shoes. So I think I'll do a little haul when I get back. Lots 99. Of... No, I mean 99. Three pounds. Spend three pounds. pounds. Three pounds. 99 Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Back home, the kids are playing walkie-talkies, which is obviously involving us going, press the button, you're not pressing the button. Somebody's not pressing the button. So I just thought I'd show you the shoes. Erin was right. This all came to about 90 something pounds. However... For two, four, six, eight pairs of shoes from Marks and Spencers, and six of them are leather. I actually don't think that's that bad. So for the girl, we got welly boots for I think they were eight pound. But if you bonk them, they flash. So yeah, they were eight pound instead of fourteen pound. We got her school shoes. If any of you buy school shoes for your kids, and you often go for Clarks, Marks and Spencers is a really good alternative. These are £26 and she's had these before and they were really good. So we've got those. They're leather as well. Um, we went for some little... She needed some trainers for... Actually, these aren't leather. These are just like a trainer material. Whatever that material is. For like rainbows and stuff. So she picked bunny ones. These were £14 instead of £20. So that was really good. Then these boots, she, made, she changed in the toilets because she was so excited about them. They're like little suede leathery boots with a bunny on the side. And I think these were like the most expensive. I think these might have been 20 something instead of 32 pounds. But like, she absolutely loved them. And she was like, she put them on, she's like, mommy, it's like wearing three pairs of socks for the boy. And we've just tried these on and they're all too big, but never mind. These are little suede leathery pumps, which are really good, like for nursery. Then again, a little cute little suede shoes. These were £14 instead of £28. That's good, isn't it? These were £12 instead of £24. So if you, if you, and there was loads left. So if you're watching this, definitely go to your local Marks and Spencer. This was Marks and Spencer in Mary Hill, and there was loads. And those little bear shoes for £8. And how cute are those? They're just so cute. Um, and then, then Mother Hubbards, I was like, oh, those are like they'd fit me. Do you know that Marks and Spencer's kid size goes up to a six? I got shoes, children's shoes. So I got these for work, a little flat kind of like ballet croc things for seven pounds. Because my foot, um, after I went to see a physio the other day, it's now gonna only be working at 50% kind of capacity. So sometimes when I have shoes on, I can't feel the shoe on my foot <laughs> and it flops off. But I thought these would be quite good because they'll be like, they'll stay on my feet. So, that is our little shoe haul. I'm very excited by it all. And my girl was just, just, just over the moon. So, yay for shoe haul. I'm in the kitchen now, sitting with little yeah. Saucy Wasp, who has decided she's going to have pen pals, haven't you? Yeah. So she's writing a little letter to a friend. So I am doing a little lesson in how, how to write letters. That's good. <laughs> So, should we carry on with it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've just written a love letter to Gary Barlow on my blog and it made me really happy. If you're interested, go and read it. If you're not, then don't, but cheer me up. <laughs> oh, I do love Gary Barlow a lot. Leave in the comments if you love Gary Barlow. Thumbs up for Gary Barlow. Subscribe if you love Gary Barlow. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. No, 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 no. I'm about to have a bath and I'm feeling... Excited! Haven't had
had a bath for seven weeks. And tonight's the night. I am going to use all of the Lush products and have a bath. I'm just currently about to shut the curtains and then I will show you what Lush, Lush bath bomb I'm using and I'm sure, I'm sure you bloody can't wait for that. Call all your friends and relatives around to tell them. <laughs> now you've got your whole family gathered together, I will tell you what bath bomb. I bet you, your daughter's like, what's she using? I bet your husband's like, I need to know. And if you're Sarah Turner's husband, aka your mum's your mum, hello, because I know you watch the videos, I will tell you I am using a um, really helpful, this one. I don't know what its name is, and it's a bit smashed, and it arrived a bit smashed. So I'm going to use this. Is that helpful? No, but it's going to make me very happy. Yay! Don't look at the grout. Hide the grout. Look at that, it's just amazing. It's just like a bath bomb, isn't it? Night, guys. Night, night. See you in the morning. It could be. Night, night. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something exciting to show you. Woo -woo. So you may have spotted it yourself. And leave in the comments if you think you may have spotted it yourself before I show it you. You may have been sat there watching your telly and gone, and gone. I recognise those, so let me show you. Are we ready? See if you can recognise some faces. Woohoo! There's my babies! Yay! Isn't that lovely? It's so nice. It made me so happy. And also, I wrote something for a um, holiday brochure for away resorts. So... It's a very nice little holiday place, and I wrote something in there, and it says, Traveling with small kids, bugger of the year, but my mummy shares her useful holiday tips. That's us. My God, it smells really nice as well. So that's exciting. Right, I am now going to watch Let It Shine with my husband, Gary Barlow. He's never really confessed that we've been married, which is a bit disappointing after all these years. But I'm going to watch it, and then I'll say tomorrow what I think about it. So, night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Sunday. What? kind of idiot books half past eight swimming lessons in a fit of 2017 it's going to be the year we do loads of classes with the kids and i'm just like oh why did i do this look at look at me look at me so that's what we're doing this morning i'm going to take two children swimming and i have a feeling the boy might have a breakdown review of let it shine loved it loved it love mark in it love howard in it love gary in it loved all of it just loved it, so I can't wait to keep watching that. However, the children, the children, the men, looked like they were like 12 to me. But that's because I'm an old hag. But right, I've got to go and take these two swimming. And I think that the boy, because it's his first time swimming without swimming in the pool with him, is going to have a breakdown. Which will be really fun, won't it? Why are we not? I think you can tell by my face that I was right. And Ethan was... Mad. He was really brave and he got in and he didn't cry and he was fine. And then another little girl started crying and then it was like a chain reaction and then he was hysterical. But we think he might be coming down with something. So we've decided we're going to spend the rest of the day in the house. I've set up a big Batman game for them in the bathroom. So we're going to spend the day in the house and we're going to kind of give him some cow pal and lots of love and juice and just indulge him. Because he's usually a really good boy and the past few days has been really naughty. Anyway, I'm going to show you what they're doing. The bonkers. I've set like an Imaginex little, let's turn this off, walkie talkie off. Oh no, I've made it louder. How the hell do I turn it off? Oh no, it's another one over here. I've set up like a little Imaginex village for them in the, ba in the bathroom. So they can have some good play in. That's what you're going to do, aren't you? Yeah, and I'm Superman and he's Batman. I'm Batman. Oh, I just had a little nap. <sighs> Haven't had a very good night's sleep the past few nights because I've been worrying about random things. But I forgot to tell you, I haven't had a little health update recently, have I? So I went to see the physio the other day and my left leg's perfect, which is good. My right leg and my right, well, my right foot is at 50% kind of workingness. So that's a great word for you. Um, and it could be like that forever. 
or it might have looked better we don't know so i'm hoping to be back at work either at the end of this week or maybe next week i've got to go and see the consultant so i'll let you know on the next weekend vlog how i'm feeling um so it's just kind of a case of the new normal might be a bit limpy and a bit slow but i've just got to get used to it and suck it up so that's a bit rubbish but it's better than it was a long time ago um i'll leave above somewhere like one of the cards when I was poorly so you can see how bad it was and how far I've come. So now I'm going to go down and see what the kiddos have been up to. They've been very quiet. It's been marvellous. Today has been a hard parenting day. The little boy has been a crazy little boy. A really crazy little boy. So that's why I've not filmed loads because we've just been like literally being with him to make him not be crazy. He hit me earlier with a um, measuring tape. You know like the metal ones. So I was like oh. So I have now gone for a giant hot chocolate with Bailey's and then I'm going to edit this video I think before having a bit of a BB. Let me know in the comments if you're watching Sled BB, let me know, I'm already loving it. However we've not seen Jedward go in yet, um, I've just uploaded a stationery haul so I'll leave a just link to that if you want to go and watch that. If pens are your porn or pads tickle your pickle, go and watch that and I will see you for another upload in a few days so night guys thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and a high five if you want to subscribe i'm going to go and bathe in baileys and um just just intermittently weep